Hi, this is uh, Dan Kirsch here, Garfield Physical Education. Um, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial here is how I create my field day cards. Um, I was asked via Twitter on how I created my field day maps um, that I shared on Twitter and then how I put the, the station numbers on there and things like that. So, and then I'll upload this and put it on YouTube and so everybody can see it. First off, what you got to do is you open up an internet browser. Okay, and I'm on Google here. And type in Google Maps. Again. And then obviously when you're in Google Maps, okay, then you'll put in your school's address but the biggest thing is is make sure that you make sure that you click down here on the satellite view okay so click on satellite view and then I type in my school's address And then I just zoom in. Here's my school, Garfield Elementary. And here's where you guys have to make a decision. You can um, make as big a image as you want, um, how, how much you want to zoom in, and things like that. So we're just going to zoom in here. Okay. I try to. And then, next thing you do is you got to create a screenshot of this. Okay. And Windows has a great little tool called the Snipping Tool. So go down here. Okay. And I search for Snipping Tool. Or if you would like, um, one another thing I do is I just put it down here on my display. So I click on that, and then it shows you a new, so you can do different types or a free form, anything like that. And all I got to do is click new. And then when it changes your screen to this kind of grayish color, then you know what's ready. So all you got to do is drag your snip all across to what image you would like. Okay. Of your school. And so far there. And once you're done. Okay. Here is your new image that you just created. Okay. Here's your new image. Now all you got to do is save that somewhere. Well, just save as, and I'm just going to save it onto my desktop here. Save. Okay. And now there is my image. Okay. I no longer need Google Maps at this point. Okay. No longer need it. Now, this is where you have a choice of what you would like to do um, with editing your photo. Okay. You have, like, for instance, I use PicMonkey, over, which is a great website. So you can use this, and I uh, open up, and open up the photo that I just created. And then there's the image that I just created on, this is the beginnings of making the map for my school. Okay. Again, I can auto-adjust it, make sure it looks nice. Okay. I can also put in text. And here's where you have a choice on what type of text or um, how dark you want it to go, things like that. I tend to go aerial black to make sure that stands not uh, looks good. You can zoom in if you need to to see on where you want it to go. Okay, so I'll click add text. Okay. 
And then here, all you got to do is type in, like, station 1. Okay? Move your text box out of the way if you need to. Okay? And you can make that small. You can also use this um, tutorial here to make it bold if I want, centered, left to the right. Okay? I can now, let's say I have my one station here, okay? Again, layers, you can do the background, okay? You can blend mode, things like that. Okay, I just tend to darken so it goes kind of above. And then that's one station. Okay, and then you just keep adding text for how many stations you got, okay? So here is station two. And I know there's a lot of different types of photo editors and things like that. You guys can use whatever you feel is works for you. And we're just going to keep adding some stations here so you guys can kind of see how this works. Okay. And I'll just keep moving on. And your station four, you can resize it. Okay, things like that. All right. Now, let's say that in my school we use the grass over here. So let's say I wanted to have a station in the grass. Okay. That um so what I did is I added text, but obviously I changed the color. So let's say just for the tutorial here that station five is here. Okay. I change it to a yellow color. I can, okay. And I can move it to here so where I can see it. Now I'll zoom back out of here so you guys can see this, okay. So now there's kind of the beginnings of my map, okay, with the station numbers. Okay, now at this point I would save it, okay, I'm going to save it again. I tend to go to a, a nicer file, bigger file, okay? I'll save it to my computer. Yes, I want to replace this. Now, here's where Word has awesome features. Microsoft Word. And this is what I use. So open up a Word doc here. And that's the tricky part is that I don't even save it as a word file. I just use the I just use the uh, picture tutorials on it. Okay, so I open up a blank document. I'm sure I could see the ribbon. Okay. And I'll go to file. Open a new file from this PC. Take that back. We'll insert a picture. Okay, and now uh, here is the picture that I just created with all my maps and stuff on it, okay? Now, this is where Word has great tutorials. So let's say I want to picture files, okay? I could put in some shapes. So let's say I want to put in a shape, an arrow, okay? So I could put in these arrows. I can draw an arrow to let my station workers know, okay, well, where, where does the rotations go? Okay, so you can go with that, you go to your format, and I try to pick one that stands out really nice. Okay, you can do different layers and things like that. 
Okay, and then all I have to do is copy, copy that and paste it. And then I can take my arrows wherever I need them to go. So ro station one rotates to station two, station two rotates to station three. Station three rotates to station four. And then obviously, okay, if I would have more stations here, but obviously station, I could do a map here. Let's say that was the, I can do an arrow to maybe we'd go to station five. Okay. And I can again change the color of that. If I wanted, so it makes it stands out more and things like that. Okay. And now I got map here. But, let's say I wanted to put in another station in here, but I've already got them on here. So I'll have to insert text box. And I can go draw a text box. Maybe I wanted a station six here. Okay, so I can go station six. Okay, I can move it to here, go to my text box, get rid of that shape fill. We don't want any border. Highlight that text. I said I can go to Arial Black like I did on the other ones. Change the font color to yellow. And now I got another station in there. Okay. And if I want another arrow, again, click on it. Copy. And I paste it. Got another arrow. And I can put it. Okay. Station five rotates to station six. Okay. And then again, change the color if I needed to. So people could see it. Okay, then last but not least, all I got to do is get to that snipping tool again. Get that out of here and make a new. Drag to the image that I got. And save. Again, I can go save as. Okay. Then I no longer need my Word document anymore, so I don't need to save that. Then on my desktop, open it up, and then there is the image that I just created for my field day map. Okay, again, I can auto-correct it. Okay, I can crop it, get rid of that white part if I needed to. And there's a quick tutorial on how I create my field day maps and things like that. And I'll put this on YouTube for you. Any questions, shoot me a message on Twitter.